Let's go! What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Fish Again Milligan. Today we're at the beach and it's finally a calm day. It's just a little bit after 8 o'clock. We're kind of late to get out here but we're really excited to get going. So I just kind of wanted to run down uh, some of the stuff that we have today. I have the brand new Sputnik sinkers. Now these things are awesome. If you guys fish here at the beach they have these little beads and it'll get stuck in the sand, but when you reel it back, this will break away and it'll come back to you, like so. So really cool Sputnik sinker. Got these at um, Bass Pro, but everybody has their own little Sputnik sinker weights that you can buy. I'll show you guys some of the gear that we have out here. So number one is the ice chest. And inside the ice chest, we have, well, ice. And we also have some bait today. So we got some shrimp from the quick bite, or from the uh, quick stop. Quick bite. <laughs> <laughs> and then we also have a uh, little bag of mullet. But there's something in here. I think it's a sand trout, maybe, like a baby sand trout. That's mullet, but that looks like a baby sand trout. Anyways, you never know what you're gonna find at the quick stop. Uh, this is a really cool cooler. It has a little rod holders here and speaking of rod holders we have some awesome heavy-duty sand spikes that actually got donated to the channel uh, by Beach Power Manufacturing so check out that number right there they're out of Florida and uh, these are really awesome they have a little foot a uh, little foot pedestal thing here and you push it down in there and uh, it has a little place you can put shrimp and then your rod holder, really awesome. So those are vital at the beach. Um, we also have our cheapy beach chairs from Walmart, only five bucks. Academy. So or Academy, only five bucks. And here is the Mondo box. We have everything we need in here, guys. We have our sinkers from five to two to one. We have our hooks, we have more sinkers, and we have our rigs that are pre-tied that we do right there at Casa de Fishigan Milligan. And we have the Mustad Perfect Circle Inline Black Nickel Hooks today. We're going to be using two odd and one odd depending on what we're catching. We have more fish bites. And these are also really cool uh, little floats here. So this is all the stuff you guys need here at the beach. So, oh, and the rods I was going to say, you don't need fishing poles? <laughs> <laughs> so, let me run down really quick some of the rods that we have here. Um, my wife's favorite is a pen passion rod that I got for her four years ago? Three, three years ago as a birthday gift and you know it's been through a lot but it's still going it's still going and it's minimal you know maintenance we just rinse it off I just got her this for her birthday the reel this is a pen pursuit reel this is the three um, really nice it's a 4000 and uh, it's paired up with her Waterloo rod the phantom that she got for her Anniversary it's gift from her father-in-law. Yes. Fish again. Trying to focus it there. Let me see. What if I do this? It's alright. No. And my name is... And her name. Right there. Boom. Don't look me Nicole up. Nicole Milligan. <laughs> and on the other side is the social security... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, here we go. Pen Pursuit Ride. 4,000. Passion. Here we go. Um, then I also have another 4,000 pin on a cheapy uh, two-piece rod here. Um, these ones here are seven footers, seven foot mediums. This is for our close range. Okay. Whiting. And then I have this, yeah, for whiting. And then I have this one as 
wells of Waterloo salinity. It's a 6.6. Six. It's got lures on here. It's for the close range as well. But this is for the long range, guys. And this is what I wanted to show you. This right here is an H2O Express rod. It's a two-piece. It is a 10-footer. And it's got a 5,000 uh, PC Fun Venom on here. This thing holds, it says here, 290 yards of 40 pound braid. So this is 30. So it probably has like 300 yards of line on here. Really good rod. Uh, the H2O Express is awesome because at Academy they have really great warranty and this is an Academy rod. So if I were to break this anywhere, anyway, anyhow, I could take it back to Academy and they would give me another one. So this is the long hauler. And we're going to be throwing this out there, so you guys stay tuned today. It's going to be awesome. Alright guys, she was checking something. I'm setting up the camera. Meanwhile, we just caught this bad boy right here. Baby Pompano. On shrimp only. On shrimp only. Nice. You gotta take that real quick. They're so pretty. I love them. Look at these spikes on top, guys. They're gonna get you. Top, ah, top and bottom. They'll get you. Okay, beautiful pompano, guys. Yeah. This is what we've been looking for. He's gonna be too, ow, too small, but there he is. He's gonna be too small, but he is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look at him, guys. Oh my gosh, I love him. All right, let's take a There's a term called swash. See this right here where it's like white, like almost like a blanket of white cotton on top of the water? That's where you need to cast because that is the area where the gut is. So you have the wave, which signifies a sandbar. Now, most of the time we catch most of our fish in the gut. Not to say you can't catch it on a sandbar, you can, but that's kind of the sweet spot. So I don't know if you guys can really see it out there, but it's that area, it's that area where it's kind of like a wave and then calm with that little bit of white on top. That is the ticket. So cast it in there and you guys are gonna be good. You're gonna be solid. I think it's break time. The fishing has slowed down a little bit, so break time. It's that area where it's kind of like a wave and then calm with that little bit of white on top. That is the ticket. So cast it in there and you guys are gonna be good. You're gonna be solid. Is it a stingray? Oh, oh. He just fooled that reel today. I know, guys. In the morning at 5 in the morning. Oh, I see it way over there.
I'm behind you. Let's go! We just finished catching the pompano. Here's another one. If it stayed on. If it stayed on. Well, we got the circle hooks. It's got the circle hooks. Feels light. The power of the circle hook. Let's go. Nice. Good whiting. What'd you do with the other one to do? Let it go? No, I put it in nice. Oh, you did? Yeah. I thought it was kind of little. Oh, got him. Guys, I tell you what, these circle hooks are doing a great job today. Little one on. Nice whiting. Probably a little small, though. Okay. I'd let, I'd let him go. All right, bye. Okay, bye. See you later. Only on fish buys over there, a rod there, a rod there, and then that's our big rod over there with the big old chunk of bait, trying to catch something big over there. But over here, I got some homemade rigs. You guys, let me know down in the comments if you'd like to buy some of these. I'm thinking about making them. You got your little swivel down here. You got your barrel swivel up there. And uh, over here, you got your you got your float, and you got your little tiny circle hooks. If I could get them undone, there we go. Okay, so real simple dropper rig. Got a high low rig. Got a piece of fish bites. Little circle hook from uh, Mustad, the Demon Perfect Circle. You got a float. It's using a two and three ounce sinkers today. It's pretty calm, so. Yep. guys great day so far just chilling on some beverages right now we're probably gonna be taking some whiting home and we're gonna do some some ceviche check this out look what we got here ceviche oh yeah buddy looking pretty good in there yes sir all right guys so I got the whiting and I went ahead and diced it up and I put it in here and now we're about to <laughs> I just got it in my eye. <laughs> we're about to squeeze. That's what you get because every time I squeeze a lemon you're like, oh my eye. Yeah, yeah. Hilarious. And now it was for real. Yeah. So anyways, here we go. We're going to squeeze it inside. All inside the fish there. And 
we're probably gonna let it sit you want to let it sit for at least 30 minutes a lot of people like to let it sit overnight um, I haven't found that to be necessary but you can if you're I guess kind of a little you know freaked out by raw fish um, but it should be plenty good so we're just gonna put that in there like that then we're gonna cover it <laughs> Okay, that's it. That's done. Let's put all this together. Okay, guys, so the fish has been taken out of the fridge. It's been sitting in this lemon juice for about 30 minutes. And now we're going to go ahead and add it in here. So you could just dump it all in there. I'm just going to kind of scoop it out and go ahead and just throw it in there. And you can tell it's done because that it's white. You can tell it's done when it is white. So make sure your fish is white and then you are ready to go. And we'll try it out. We'll give it a taste test here in a mix all this up. Oh yeah. You can add cilantro too if you want. I also have some avocado. You can add that too if you want. And it's going to be good. It's going to be nice and fresh. Perfect for the summer. Nice, cool dish. Little, Little guy. Okay. Little. Little guy. Okay. Another one, guys. Another good one. You're going to work out today. I told you. Baby. Yeah, I did. Oh, he took the whitey. Oh. Give me that one. Did he really take it? It did. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I'll trade you. Hold hold this. My hands are greasy. It's okay. <laughs> guys thank you so much for tuning in we had a blast out here catching a bunch of white we woke up so early we woke up super early i don't know how we managed to wake up at 5 30 and we didn't get out here till 8. We suck. yeah we stuck on time but anyways um look at how pretty the beach is the beach is fantastic no, no we're leaving. very blue and uh guys gals boys and girls thank you so much for tuning in today Man, we had a lot of fun. If you are brand new to this channel, we do everything from redfish to trout to whiting on the beach, Royal City, South Padre Island, Port Mansfield, kayak, boat. Stingray. Stingray, <laughs> as you can tell from today. So uh, be sure to smash the like button, um, subscribe, all those things help the channel. Go down to the bottom, check out all the descriptions and see all the different things that we use here uh, to help you guys. If you have anything, that you need help with just put a comment down below thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time hopefully out on the water all right guys what is up we have in my opinion the best fish out of surf fishing you can catch this is the whiting this was a big old 16 inch fillet we have various different sizes and a very simple method today frying it up. So we have an egg wash, we got some 
Frank's Red Hot in there. We got a little bit of milk. We got a little bit of eggs. I put two in there. And then we have the batter right over here. And all we're going to do is make sure that this is very dry. So nice dry piece of fish. Going to dump it in the egg wash like so, both sides. Then we're going to put it on top of that bad boy right there. And then we're going to mix it all up, bread it, and then we're going to drop it in a pan that has canola oil. Canola oil. So it doesn't smell fishy at all. And here we go. Put this on top. Work it around. Shake, 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 shake. Shake your fish. Shake your fish. All right. Boom. Look at that. Magic. Uncle Buck's fish batter. A little spicy. Moving on over. Hot cast iron skillet. Always lay away. Good Lord. Look at that. My, my, my. Thank you, Jesus. Look at this right here. Woo! Get in on that action. That's a beautiful thing. Now, when it's doing that right there, that tells you it's nice and hot. Nice and hot. And I got my, oops, I got my tongs. And we're gonna let that go. When you see it curling up on the edges there, then it's almost about time to flip. It's gonna be like, a minute or two on each side. Es el bien tostadita. Bien. Si, sí, mamá. Bien tostadita. Boom. Oh. Flip it. Flip it right. Please. Flip it right. Flip it good. Oh, no, I broke it. Shoot. All right, my bad. Bien that's that's, that's good, though. If it's breaking up, then that's good. Good night, guys. This stuff is... Flaky. I cannot grab it. Good lord. There we go. There we go. The only thing I forgot was a pan with pick it up. Whoops. Okay, here we go. Paper towel. That's gonna come out. It's gonna go right on top of that. Right there. Yeah, I think they're about done. I think they're about done. So if you were uh, doing this like on a big old, a big old fish fryer, whenever you see little pieces floating, that means they're ready. So if this was actually floating to the top, it'd be ready to go. That's a little thicker, so I'm gonna let that one go. This one's about ready, right here. Just get all the excess off and then drop it in there. All the excess off, drop it in there. Now, I have a source that tells me that Captain Murphy said it himself that his favorite fried fish sandwich was a whiting fish sandwich. So guys, whiting is one of the most underrated fish in my opinion. I can scoop it up. No, don't break on me. Don't break on me, boy. There we go. Look at that, guys. Holy smokes. That white. Whiteness. Yeah, guys, look at that. White, mm -hmm. flaky. Look at this right here. Up close. Mm, white, good. flaky. Guys, I'm telling you. Guys, Stop I'm telling you. No, let me. Focus in on your white piece of fish. I already ruined it. You might as well. This right here is one of the best tasting. I like it. I like it more than redfish. I like it more than trout. Just being honest. It's a little spicy. It was amazing. It's a little spicy.